hello friends welcome back so guys in this video we are going to fetch the data and edit and update the data using ajax okay with the bootstrap model okay so we will be using bootstrap model to update the data using ajax okay so for that uh, let's get started guys so till now we have done that about how to insert the data in previous video we have done that so that if you want to know how to insert the data using ajax without page reload so you should um, it's given in the link description okay the link is given so guys in previous video we have done till here okay so this is a normal model for the adding the student okay this is the model and this is my design of the container so I will show you the output of it so this is the output guys so now if you want to add add the data and close it okay so it will get closed by itself because we are using JavaScript okay JavaScript I mean Ajax script okay so we are using Ajax to store the data so guys now I am going to fetch the data and then edit using the Ajax okay Ajax and update the data using Ajax so guys for that now let's design one simple table using bootstrap okay so I'm going to use table so that table yeah so let me use this as simple table this one so I'm going to copy that so I'm going to copy the first two things okay so right control C as very simple I'll paste it inside this okay so I don't need all this so I'm just going to remove all unwanted things so I'm going to fetch the data which is there into my row okay so this TD actually so table head and table data okay so let's do with that this is the ID okay first name last name first name last name next is course and final one is section okay so I have done this four contents for the insertion okay so like over here name and last name course and section so I'm going to view these things over here okay into the table so guys for that um, let's code it I will show you the output first of this table as simple table okay so let me refresh the page and this is our table okay so in this content we will be displaying the data okay so let's put it into one row control X I given row so inside that row I'm going to paste my table okay so simple table yes so now let's give a row um, what happened it's better we don't give a row <laughs> so just give a control Z because it takes a lot of time okay so what we have oops I got closed okay so let's save this and uh, leave the output as same okay so I'll just give a br tag break tag okay so the line gets break why it's behaving like this this is the row okay okay so it's uh, inside the row so just let's cut that Oops. so just paste it outside the row okay so let's give control R uh, yeah it is outside the row now so now we can give the BR tag okay so let's reload 
and we are getting dots okay so now we will display the data okay so for that let's go to a controller inside app HTTP controller student controller okay so this is a continuation of the previous video which is the link is given in the description so now what I'm going to do is that display the on the main page this is the main page on this we have to display the data okay so let's do with that and yeah so let's go to our index so in index we will create a variable called students is equal to find by dollar id so what you're going to find is student table okay so this student table is your model okay so i'm going to use app dot student so inside app student so these are the things okay so these are the student table name and these are the contents so as simple save now we can retrieve this over here okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use for each loop for each okay so at for each loop so let's cut this and paste before the body ends okay so just try with this and name it where's the controller this is the variable click copy and paste as student so I'm going to copy that student okay so mention as like in the curly braces okay so that is student as ID okay so let's copy this done okay so now we have to change it f name l name section and the normal course okay so these are the five contents so now I'm going to create one more field for the edit and delete okay so let's create called um, no so we'll give only one thing that is action okay so let's give action and let's create one more td okay so let's separate it and now in this i'm going to type as button not disabled button we'll give a class called btn btn primary or we'll give ssc ss access that is edit okay so one more button i'm going to make that is danger let's save output mm, undefined variable id so where is that id okay so oh it's in the controller so just not find by id we'll use it all okay because we are displaying all the data so we don't need to display by id undefined variable student students so let's get back so we need to give width student comma dollar students done ok 
okay now let's try and the data came okay so these are the four contents which we have entered into the database okay so i'll show you that these are the four fields let me reload the page okay so these are the four fields which we have entered over here okay so now what i'm going to do is that i will add the data and show you one so okay try it so it's on this here this section save the data data got saved using ajax and it didn't load because it is um the page did not get reload because we are using ajax okay so if you want to reload the page just watch out the previous video how we reloaded the page using ajax itself only okay so the data is getting coming over here and now if we click on edit the data should get edit and the data should get delete okay so let's get back this will be as delete okay so let's see and now if i click on edit button the data should get edited and edit the data using ajax so now let's try with that so guys um in this video that's it that we have fetched the data now we are in next video we will be editing the data using ajax okay so this is not using ajax we are fetching the data so we do not we don't need ajax to fetch for this all data thing so that's why we are not using it but in coming videos i'll be making on this also so guys in this video that's it please subscribe my channel like the video share the video and thank you for watching this video once again thank you